Alright guys, today I'm going to go over some smart home features that I've been working on uh, this past week and um, I'm going to show you how it integrates with um, the Google Home. So first of all, I have the Google Wi-Fi router, which you can use any router you want. It doesn't have to be this router. Um, just choose one that has good signal. Next, I have the Google Home Mini that just came out this past Friday. Um, it's just a small speaker compared to the Google Home, which is Google's full-size speaker. And I'll also show you how it integrates with the Nest thermostat. And there is also the Nest Protect carbon monoxide and smoke detector. Um, it, Google Home doesn't really have any commands for this, but it kind of integrates in the whole Nest ecosystem. And then I'll also show you how it integrates, integrates with the fuel, uh, Philips Hue lights. And these ones are the... Um, ones that can go from like really dim to 2700 Kelvin. It's not the color ones because it's for my parents and they're not going to really care about the colors. But they do have color LED strips that are on top of the countertops that they really like. So let's go ahead and jump into um, how I have everything set up. So over here I have uh, my parents modem connected to the Google Wi-Fi router and plugged into the Google Wi-Fi router is the Philips Hue light control. This light control will work if the internet goes out as long as you use the app, but if you want to use your voice with the Google Home, then you have to have internet connection. So let's go ahead and jump into some of the features. Um, let's walk over here to the Google speaker. So I have it controlled with some lights, so I'll say a command. Okay Google, turn on all the lights. Sure, turning on 12 lights. Okay, so it turned on this light. It turned on the dining room lights, it turned on the hallway lights, it turned on the table lights were already on, but it'll turn on those. It turned on the two uh, lights in here, and it turned on the top left counter LED strip and the right top uh, counter LED strip. Now you can control lights individually too, so I'll say, okay Google, turn off the kitchen lights. You got it. Turning so all the kitchen off. lights turned off. Now I can tell them, tell Google to turn on the counter lights. Okay, Google, turn on the left counter lights. Okay, turning the left counter light on. Okay, Google, turn on the right counter lights. Sure, turning the right. And with the light LED on. strips, you can choose any color you want. Okay, Google, turn the right counter lights to red. You got it. Change so there's the red. You can choose any color you want. I'll go ahead and turn it back. Okay, Google. Turn the right counter lights to baby blue. Okay. Change so there the you right have it. Light to baby blue. Um, so you can distinguish uh, the light bulbs by room. So this is the dining room. So I can say, okay, Google. Turn off the dining room lights. Sure. Turning five so the whole dining room uh, is turned off. You can also designate it by certain light bulbs, like this is a starfish lamp, so I'm going to call it the starfish lamp or light. Okay Google, turn on the starfish lamp. Okay. So you can control it individually. Over here I have the kitchen table called just table lights. Okay Google, turn on the table lights. You got so there you go, there's the table lights. So the way the lights work is you need to leave the power switch on at all times and just control the lights with your voice because there's always like one watt of power going to the lights that lets you activate it with your voice. If you accidentally turn it off, you're not going to be able to control the lights. Okay Google, turn on the kitchen lights. Okay, turning on So the she'll lights. say it but nothing will happen. So what you have to do is you need to turn the switch back on, the light will be on by default, then you can start controlling it right away. Okay Google, turn off the kitchen lights. So all the turn lights the turn off. off. Now let's go ahead and move into the Nest products. So I'll walk over here where the Nest thermostat is. When I walk by it says that the temperature is set to 75, but in the, in the house right now it's 70 degrees. So let's walk over back to the Google Home and ask it a little bit about the temperature. Okay Google, what's the temperature in the house? Cooling is set to 75 with a current temperature of 70. 
Okay, so let's say I want to change it from 75 to 76. Okay, Google, turn the temperature to 76 degrees. Sure, setting the hallway to 76 degrees. Okay, so let's walk over here to the hallway. And we'll look at this, and now it's set to 76. And the house temperature currently is 70 degrees. So that is the Nest thermostat. There is also the Nest Protect, and what this does is it detects smoke and carbon uh, monoxide. Um, it integrates with the Nest app, but not really the Google Home. But if there is smoke in the house, it will shut the Nest thermostat off automatically based on the settings I have in the thermostat. So there is the thermostat. Now let's move over here to the living room and go over another Nest product I forgot to cover, and that's the Nest Cam. So we are going to view a Nest Cam in a store right now that my parents have set up on the TV, which is a really great feature. So let's go ahead and um, broadcast it. Okay, Google, show me the entryway on the living room TV. You got it, streaming the entryway on living room TV. So now it's pulling up the Nest camera, and this will work with an outdoor camera or an indoor camera, all, pretty much all of Nest's cameras. So it just takes a little bit because my parents' internet's a little bit slow, so give it a few minutes. So there's the entryway, my mom's uh, co little coffee shop. Um, you can see people sitting down eating. It shows the Nest camera. So let's go ahead and do a couple more features with the TV. Okay, Google, stop the entryway camera on the living room TV. Sorry, I don't know how to help you. Okay, well, let's just switch to something else. Um, okay, Google. Stop the video on the living room TV. Okay, so that was the command. So now we're back at the home screen. Um, there's a couple other things we can cast, like let's do a YouTube video. Okay, Google, cast the Stranger Things 2 trailer on YouTube on the living room TV. Okay, playing the Stranger Things 2 trailer from YouTube on living room TV. So now I'll go ahead and play the trailer. You can do other commands too, like pause the video, uh, turn the volume down or up. Okay, Google, pause the video on the living room TV. There is paused. Okay, Google, lower the volume on the living room TV. So it lowered the volume. Okay, Google, raise the volume on the living room TV. So it raised it again. Okay, Google, stop the video on the living room TV. So it works with um, YouTube. It also works with Google Play Music because the Chromecast is owned by Google. Okay, Google, play the Pretender by Foo Fighters on the living room TV. I couldn't find the song The Pretender in your music library. Playing a similar mix from Google Play Music. Okay, so as, if you have a subscription, it will play the song. But since um, I don't have the subscription set up on my parents' account, it's just playing... Um, another Foo Fighters song. Okay Google, stop the music on the living room TV. So there you have it. That's the Chromecast pretty much. Another cool feature is if you have the Chromecast plugged into the power outlet, you can tell it to turn the TV on. Um, but if you have it only plugged into the USB port on your TV, you only can tell it to turn it off. Okay Google, turn the living room TV off. So there's the living room TV off. So another thing you can do with the Google speaker is you can ask it anything you have on your phone. Like for example, I can say, um, I can have it play music on the speaker. Okay, Google, play Foo Fighters. Do you still want to play that on living room TV? No. No problem. Check out this Foo Fighters radio mix on Google Play Music. So it's playing it on the speaker. Okay, Google. Stop the music. Now another cool feature is if you have it linked with your phone, you can also make phone calls. Okay, Google, call the Walmart in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Calling Walmart Supercenter on Carlisle Boulevard Northeast in Albuquerque. So basically with this device, you do not need a landline phone anymore Call because it's connected. Walmart. So I'm going to go ahead and hang up. So that's a touch detector. I can hang up. Another uh, thing you can do with the Google Home is you can adjust the volume by like that. Or you can ask it. Okay, Google. 
Turn the volume to 25%. OK, Google, raise the volume to 50%. OK, so it's pretty much 50%. Um, so that's pretty much the Google Home. You can ask it other cool things, too. OK, Google, what's the time in California? The time in California is 8.46 AM. OK, Google, what's the forecast in New York? In New York City today, it'll be mostly cloudy, with a forecasted high of 73 and a low of 68. So you can do tons of things with the Google Home. Um, so that's pretty much it. All the features with uh, Google Home, the um, Philips Hue, and all the Nest products. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Here's all the products we went over today, not including the Nest camera. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Bye.